Welcome to Dude Reviews. I am Ron Burr Gundy, and I am your trusted advisor. And I'm invested in helping you make the best purchase decisions of uh, cool men's clothing. Um, it's been a little while since we've done one of these, Mitch. What are we reviewing today? Well, we had on the docket Chubby's sports shorts, which I see you're not wearing right now. Uh-huh. Yeah. Cheers, brother. Cheers. All right, I got my super dad shoes on. I'm ready to rock and roll here. So we're reviewing today the Chubby's Sport Shorts per a recommendation from one of our trusty subscribers and commenters. I don't remember who it was. I didn't pay attention or it was been too long or was drinking. The, um, but it said, review Chubby Sport Shorts. So that's what I've got on today. We're gonna review the Chubby Sport Shorts. That's why you clicked on this video. So thank you for watching ahead of time. Cheers. Okay, so uh, per dude reviews, because all of our videos we've made over the years. We're gonna start with the pros and cons, and then we'll go with what's after that, uh, Mitch, the cheek check, yep. squat test. And then the pocket test. The pocket test, and then our uh, the final verdict. There we go at the end. Mm -hmm. All right, so bros and cons. The first bro, I would say once to, to chubby style, to true chubby style, their seven inch shorts are the, the way to go. They have nine, they have five. I got the seven. I think seven's perfect, it's not too long, not too high where it starts to get a little weird. It's right in between so it can show off the teardrop, right? But it's not like way up in your junk either. And so the bros on these, I want, I like these colors. I got them on sale. I mentioned sure you got a pair too because there was such a deep discount. Yes. But these are solid. So it's a, uh, I would pay full price for these for sure. But I actually like this lavender color. I don't know why they were on such a deep discount. Maybe, I don't know, we don't know any better. Maybe they're ugly. But I like the color. I think they're cool. They stand out. The best part about them is, in my opinion, well, one, the liner's good. Uh, you need a good liner, but more than just the comfortability of the liner, I mean, check out these bad boys. I mean, these are rock solid. What do we got there? It's like a sunset of pink and blue. If anything, I, maybe I should have gotten the five inches because then you can just stay like this the whole time and <clears throat> do squat tests all day long, right? Yep. So the bros on these, they're very comfortable, great fabric, uh, good drawstring. You can't underestimate a good drawstring. It stays when you tie it. It doesn't, some of these drawstrings, you tie them and then they start to loosen up. This stays pretty well. We'll keep it stayed for the pocket test. A basic front pockets, no complaints there. A little shallow, but do you really need that deep of pockets that hang out to the bottom like that? No. Uh, one pocket in the back has a zipper, which is essential. You know, I don't think you need two for a sport short. One's fine, just as long as you can keep something zipped up. So I like the sort of not too much, not too little, like that Goldilocks zone approach with the shorts, okay? So those are the pros. Uh, I also wore these for quite a while. Like the, it's minimal on the swamp ass scale. It's not like some of these uh, athleisure shorts. They start to get stinky after a while. A little camp ass, swamp ass, whatever you want to call it. And uh, these breathe pretty well. I went, uh, you know, worked out and spent the rest of the day in them like a dirt ball, and uh, they weren't that bad. So I do like the comfortability of them over time. Um, and the, like I said, the liner. You know, they they uh, support well, support enough, but not too much, not restrictive. Um, so those are the bros. The cons, this is a big con for me, and this is almost all shorts, unless you get like a purely athletic workout short that has the slits in the side, which you know I don't love those the way they look, but they're great because the shorts don't ride up. So for me with my thunder thighs here, I do get, right, you do stuff, do weird things in the gym, and then they slide down, but sometimes they get caught. Now they don't get caught like this, they're ridiculous, but I do have to do this after doing certain things, you know? do some squats, do some stuff here. God forbid you do burpees. But they slide down most of the time, but sometimes they get caught up there. So that's a slight con, not the worst, but they don't slide down the easiest, or you have to readjust yourself. Uh, another con, I don't know if I really have any, to be quite it's honest. A, it's a solid short. It's a solid short. And I mean, especially what has less cons, the fact that there were 35 bucks on deep discount. But like I said, even at their like 64 or $65 price point, mm -hmm. I would still buy them. I mean, for their purpose, for being kind of a loud, a lot of cool colors and designs, uh, good length, good fit, 
Uh, I think I got a, a large. I'm going to check my butt crack here. They're large. Okay. I got the same pair. <laughs> All right. So for a large, me being like a 34 waist, 32 inseam, uh, I used to be 195 pounds or 192, but now I'm like pushing 205. It's beef it's, caking. It's bulk season. Right. If you can tell. It's winter. The uh, So large fits pretty well. So good fit. Drawstring stays and they stay on pretty well, but we'll check that in the pocket test. Okay. So pros and cons. Not many cons. Just maybe the ride nub. That's about it. Uh, durability, I can't speak to yet because I've only worn them for maybe a few months. Um, what's next? The list is behind. Let's do some. Well, you you were already squatting, so and you already mentioned they ride up a little bit. Yeah. yeah so let's, let's get a nice slow, controlled squat session. Ah, this mic is placed in a crappy spot. I'm gonna move it. Good. So non-restrictive at all. I don't feel restriction in my thighs. There's nothing grabbing up the ass. Oh, that's the big thing. A big bro on this is that sometimes these liners go up your butt crack and they just get stuck there and you gotta start pulling and all that. Here, doesn't happen at all. So no issue with the thong effect of the liner. And as you can see, I know I'm saying, I was kind of getting into the con and saying it gets stuck on your thighs, but really. Those are staying. It's sliding down. Yeah. It's not bad. So. Maybe I mean, negate that con. If, it's a, if you're sweating, I'm sure it'll ride up a little bit, but it's, yeah. it moves good. Yeah, not bad. And then let's check. We'll do a, not really squat, but we'll do a little lunge action from side to side. Oh. I mean, you're testing out the fabric right oh. there. And still, they're not riding up too much. I mean, decent. I'm not having to pull them down too much. So, yeah, maybe even negate that con. So, squat <clears> test. <throat> Checks out, what's next? Cheek check? Cheek check. What is the cheek check? I... It just depends on how, how tight it is from the backside. All right, so backside, there's some space, not too tight. As I said, it doesn't ride up the butt. And if I can squeeze here, I mean, I don't it's, know. It's tight, but it's not restrictive. Yeah, so I guess if you want a little it's bit more very... space, you get a, an extra large or uh, yeah. you go to a nine incher. I would say for cheek check, it's very- Love a nine incher. <laughs> It's very fit to form. There you go. Form to fit. Fit form to form. fit. Fit to form. Yeah, I like we're, stuff. We're a couple little, nooners deep, so I like this a little tight. You know, hugs the, the Christmas hams. You know? All right. Now with any sport short or athletic short, pockets can be a big oh, deal. Yeah. Okay, so. so pocket test. What do we have here? We have a reach lacrosse ball. It's our day job. I got a protein bar from uh, Costco. Jif to go naturals. Nice. An extra belt, just in case. Yep. Don't you have to leave soon? I do. Yep. Uh, some Nutri-Disc, in case you have any disc issues, you can heal that disc or help you heal it. Put that in the back pocket. <clears throat> and then a magic wand to heal that back pain. As you do. All right, I'm gonna zip it up. Tuck her in here. Hey, drawstring still together. So, no, I'm not just excited to see you, but we'll check the pocket test now, ready? Yep. We suck it in, so it'll flop. Nice. I mean, gotta be I, have a, I have a lacrosse ball in my pocket right now, and this thing ain't flopping around anywhere. I mean, it's staying together, nothing's coming out. Of all of our pocket tests, this might have to be the best performer. It's actually sticking like tight in there. Let's see if it's looser. Give me keys on you. No. Well, here, even a protein bar in here. And what I have here, and some GIF to go. What about, uh, do you have your phone in there? No. My phone over there. Give me an isolated phone jump. All right, here's, here's a phone in the front pocket. Yeah, it's starting to pull a little bit. It's starting to, I mean, phones are heavy. So, but walking around wouldn't be an issue at all. And it's not flopping. So it's staying pretty tight. Anyway, I'd probably put the phone in the back pocket anyway. Yeah, nice. it's starting to yank here. So I'd probably have to tie the drawstring a little tighter. But not the most ideal for a phone, but I mean, who the hell is 
jumping off cliff or doing jumping jacks with a phone in their pocket. I guess if you're going for a run, it might be an issue, but I don't know. I think it's still pretty minimal. I would just wear a fanny pack and put my phone in it at that point. All right. All right, now for the final verdict. It's the final verdict. Cheers. So white Russians, right? So, yep. I mean, for their intended use as being a sport short, out of five white Russians, yeah, we'll go five. I'm going. I'm going four and three quarters. These are solid. Four and three. Wow. Yeah, I have to say I like these better than my Viore ones. Um, for the purpose of being a sport short with, a, I mean, the great liner and to work out in, I really like these. They're not. My biggest problem is they're riding up. And they're not doing that at all. Great liner, hugs the cheeks, but doesn't slide up your butt and having to pick your ass all the time. It does have a zipper for stuff if you need be. So transferring from the gym to out of the gym and wear them throughout the day, comfortable. Don't smell too much or too much camp ass or swamp ass. I mean, overall, I don't know. I think, I, yeah, four and three quarters white Russians. I think this is the highest uh, like athletic short we've rated so far. Yeah. So uh, kudos to the um, the commenter that said uh, review the chubby sport short because these are, these are solid. I like these. Yeah, these are going to be a staple of the rotation. Also, side note, Chubby's newsletter, the best newsletter you can subscribe to. No, it's Bird Dogs. Chubby's is, Chubby's is good too. Bird Dogs is we'll what you're talking we'll about. We'll cut that know, part. No, it's not. We'll you keep talking part. about it. Bird Dogs is hilarious. <laughs> anyway, right. this is about Chubby's, not Bird Dogs. So please like, comment, subscribe to your trusted advisor and because I'm invested in make, helping you make the best purchase decisions like this phenomenal review of these Chubby sports shorts. So if you have any other suggestions of men's well, I guess you do movements too. I mean, you're pretty good at wearing thongs. But we can um, we can do a review of, of what you'd like. So all the stuff we buy on our own uh, until some of these companies start uh, you know hooking us up with stuff. Uh, we're reviewing the stuff that we buy and giving you honest, uh, straightforward reviews. So tell us what you want to see next, and we'll maybe make it in the next six months. Cheers.